Hey there, I'm John Siskovich. This week we are taking a look at my different operations in 2021 from the air. This video is about my egg layer operation and how I plan their rotations and a look at their infrastructure from the air, which will give you a better perspective on how I've been managing my birds. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so here we're looking at the egg layers from above. There's Zip the dog, and there's me waving hi uh, because I love you guys, you're great. Here's our egg layer coop, and my friend David doing chores, and me being a lackey, just playing with the drone while he does all the hard work. Uh, our egg layer coop is up on wheels so that we can move it, and there's a tongue right here that attaches to our ATV. It's an old wagon running gear. Um, and then we have one of the things that I get asked about most and most often is right here on the image, we have these poles and it's just half inch or three quarter inch EMT conduit, 10 foot lengths. We have two lengths and then a, um, a third length just uh, attached to those two. So there's a, a it's stronger at the base and you can get that 20 feet long going out at 45 degree angles from the coop, all tied together with ropes. And then in between those posts, we have fishing line. Uh, and we had to add some more in recently because we had a hawk attack even with all of this. Uh, put some fishing line so that the hawks don't have a clear way to get in, but we don't have to put hard posts in the ground. This side is angled up just a little bit and we're able to attach it to the ATV drive it to a new area, and then set up a new fence. Um, that has worked really well for us up until really recently. Some of the lines fell down, uh, and there was an opening that uh, we think that's what, what the cause was for the hawk getting in. I keep my feed and information barrels right here. This will hold you know, 75 pounds of feed, so we just empty a 50-pound bag into it. We have a small enough flock where we use small containers now when I had a flock of 400 birds, uh, we had barrels and two different coops. Uh, so this coop fit 150, 200 birds, depending on the time of year uh, and how you set up the nest boxes and stuff. One of the things we just changed, I have this Premier One netting, which is in a circle around my square hawk deterrent. And that was one of the things that we think they had some extra space where the circle came out here, but there was only fishing line there, so they had an entrance to get in this area. My arrow looks like terrible. Um, so I had a, a bird die right on the edge. So now we've taken our round fence and squared it off a little bit more to match the anti-hawk infrastructure. And then with this guy, because it's so mobile, it's easy to move this netting. We don't have to do anything to move the hawk structure if we're out in a field and we don't have to bypass any buildings or trees or other things. Uh, it's easy enough to attach. One person can move the coop and change the fence in 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, and we do that about once a week right now. Uh, we have them in an easily accessible area on the farm where we can run a hose to fill water we can keep an eye on them. We are making upgrades to the coop because we're at a small scale. So we want to figure out, you know, what makes it easier for us, what makes it better for the birds, um, new nesting boxes, different management styles, testing out this hawk thing. It, to have a lot of birds and to be losing, to have a lot of chickens and to be losing a bunch of chickens while figuring all this stuff out and cleaning all those eggs, uh, we are fortunate enough to have the brewery uh, where we can not only sell our products, but it covers most of our day-to-day -day operations uh, and allows us to do some experimentation here with our egg layers. So that's kind of the bird's eye overview of how we manage the egg layers. Uh, where we choose to rotate them to uh, depends on the ease of getting water out to them, their accessibility to us, and it's one of those things that customers love to come and watch happen uh, on a regular basis. So even if you're a bigger farm, have a huge scale, but you have a lot of people coming in, it might benefit you to have a small coop or a small bunch of chickens that kind of runs around, gives that farmy aesthetic and feel. Chickens are endlessly fascinating and entertaining to me personally. 
uh, and I know that it resonates a lot with the visitors here. So having the birds rotating, uh, eating the grass, laying some eggs helps tell our farm story uh, and is a good marketing draw for us once you actually make it out to our property. If you have any questions about how I set up the egg layer stuff, I'll take new drone photos and I will show you how all this lays out uh, in my charts and maps and things uh, with the holistic picture of the farm and my holistic planning. Leave them in the comment section below. It helps me tailor my videos. And if nothing else, I hope you have an amazing day, a great week, a wonderful weekend. And until next time, I will see you out in the field. Bah. Bah. Chickens. All right.